Yo, what's up guys? So this video is in collaboration with the Epic Bike School here in Bike Park Leo Gang. Yesterday I did track walk and uh, check out the video and uh, stick along to the end for, uh, for some insights. Thanks for the shuttle. Yo. <laughs> Tot zo. Ik bel wel als ik, uh, als ik klaar ben. Yo guys, we're here at the top of the Swatch Leo and Knappe Trail. Um, this year with the Enduro World Cup here at the Epic Bike Park Leo Gang. We are raising the Schwarz Leo track and I'm gonna take you through some line options and some um, line um, descriptions and know-how of why I do certain lines and help you a bit um, for your next ride to see how you should um, set up for some corners, some straights and so on. So this is the track we're walking today. I got my walking sticks, got my hydration pack, so we are good to go. So um, let's get into it and um, let's get into some information of line options and so on. So um, let's get into it. Here we go. Come out of here, a bit of a flat corner. And then you got this bit of a straightaway that leads into a longer straightaway down the end. And the main line is just there around on the tree, just main, main line. But if you if you want to do like a faster line, which actually is easy as well, if you would get close to this tree right here, go down here and try from here on to set up wide to the left, close to that tree. So you try to go up here. You straighten up basically this corner behind me and then what you can do is from here on the corner is actually less tight because you come in from this angle already then if you square this up that route will be a bit sketchy but maybe if you come in if you commit to uh, commit here you should be fine and then from here on you can go over this route between these ones then set up and then you can from there on you can jump or roll over those roots and then set up wide over there for the for a big 180 right corner over there so um yeah that's a bit of the insights i can give you here um pretty pretty interesting stuff um trails looking well good um it's a bit wet now um but i reckon with the race it will be a bit like a bit the same so um yeah hope hope you guys enjoy a bit of the insight um and uh, yeah, this is stage five. So uh, yeah, that's one you're walking right now. This is, I think it's called Schwartz Leo Trail. So for any of you guys who wanna ride this trail on a later stage, that's the one. So this is a quite tight corner, 180. And as you can tell, it's quite steep. So you will not be able to break that hard. Um, so I think that's very important when you're coming in like, like this. A lot of people will maybe go towards this area. What you kind of want to do is go as high as you can so you make the corner less tight than it is, and you also have more braking um, options. So, the ideal line would be to go here, over here, and around this point, you'll slip down a little bit, but it's fine. But you kind of want to be on that bit because you can break there and already make the corner quite a lot and then that route is way less wet and sketchy because um, you co don't come in from this angle but you come in from that angle and then afterwards it's quite a long flat straight so you want to carry a lot of speed out of there so that's quite quite uh, quite cool to share that with you guys um, and um, this track looks very much like this all the way to the end um, from now on so setups is definitely key 
So, trail number two, the Bongo Bongo Trail. Let's see what this trail has to offer and if we can spot some cool lines. So, we're starting off with quite a technical section right from the start. So, the main line is going between these two trees over here. Probably around and then back up. But, if you set up inside, you go between those two trees, set up wide over here. There's quite some nice grip over there. You can set up over that yellow dirt, close to that tree, and then you have way faster exit. And you don't get stopped there because I bet you will when you when you do that. So that's a quite interesting interesting section over here um, to show. And on this trail they already put down the tapes, so that's pretty cool as well. So it looks a bit more like a race track than the Swartz Leo track was because it wasn't taped yet. So so yeah, here we go. So here we are. We enter Zauberwald. Now I don't know what Zauber means exactly. I don't know what wild means, that means forest. But that, if that means wet and sketchy, then that's pretty accurate, I would say. So we're approaching more of a simple section. Just have a simple 180 corner right here. But there's two options. You can either go inside, which most of the people probably would do. You can also go on the outside. And if you look a bit, if you would ride with a bit more um, looking ahead, let's say, you'd have seen that it traverses quite a lot left and right. So, if you would set up a bit wider, just a little bit, from going there to there, make a big difference at that part of the corner, because then when you come in, you'd be able to make the corner from more of that angle instead of this angle, and then the drop actually would be less hard as well. So, um, more of a simple more of a simple section let's say but still important on making your ride easier gotta love a bit of a nurture section in a race especially if the, um, <laughs> there will be rain but hopefully this this stuff will be grippy enough for us to race on would be a shame to finish up there for the last stage so I'm pretty sure the XC used to race up here because the downhill track is just there and I remember watching it a couple years ago um, when it was super wet in, uh, with world champs um, so I'm pretty sure this used to be the climb for the XC people but the XC race is not here anymore or not this year at least so I reckon that's why we can we can race it but pretty cool pretty cool stage this is for final stage especially if it's gonna rain it's gonna be sketchy so last year we were coming down over on that side and we had the same finish as the downhill but now we are coming more coming out more towards the left here um, and uh, coming into the open section here so I'm pretty sure we're basically going to finish at um, the bike school of shoot so that's uh, that's going to be pretty cool coming down the end of the trail here definitely looks like we're going to have our finish somewhere around this area so that's going to be super cool um, especially because this video is of course in a collaboration with the bike school and that we're literally finishing in front of the bike school is awesome so here we are over there is the finish of the Enduro World Cup and right here is the Epic Bike School. Um, so if you guys want to learn how to do stuff like this with line options and looking, looking ahead and um, taking the smooth line and sometimes the things that look a bit rougher actually aren't rougher um, um, and stuff like that. The people here from Epic Bike School so Emil and Shoot can help you out with all of that. Um, you can ride all the trails I've shown you in this video. Um, so there's also a lot of enduro tracks here, which are quite technical, especially the Bongo Bongo track that finishes down here. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. 
and um, yeah don't forget to check out epic bike school right here i'll put a put their website right here and also in the description and um, yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video check these guys out and see you in the next video ciao ciao